What is it? It's actually a picture after a car jumped a curb and literally cleaned off the whole contraption right off the building. That's another story for another time. What is it? What is it called? Because it's important for all of you to walk up to a building that you're going to be doing work in gas piping. And even though it might not be your jurisdiction, it's a good heads up to what you have for gas. Talking about gas, this side of the meter, whether you're down there or over here, what is it? Service regulator, very good. So when you walk up to a building and you see a service regulator, it means there's something other than low pressure gas coming off the street into this building. It's most likely either what we call intermediate pressure gas or elevated pressure gas. Intermediate, anything below 52 PSI, elevated probably over 52 PSI. As far as the plumbing code goes, anything over a half PSI is what we call elevated gas pressure. But you see that service regulator, you know there's something in there in the piping system over one half PSI. You don't see that regulator there. That regulator doesn't exist. And it's just simply a pipe up out of the ground and in. No regulator there. That is typically a low pressure gas system, a low pressure street system, which means it's not over a half PSI. Those are key kind of awareness pieces as you're walking into a building to do gas piping. You're walking into a building to assess a gas problem or issue. Can you have one or two things? It's a low pressure gas system. You may not have enough gas pressure. If it's an elevated gas pressure system and it has a service regulator on it, you could potentially have too much gas pressure. You want to be able to have an awareness to ask these questions, use this information and that experience to make a sound assessment when you're walking into a building to do work on gas equipment, change gas equipment, or install gas equipment brand new. If you're not looking at this, you really don't demonstrate the ability to survey a situation like both the plumbing code and the gas code talk about. Literally that piece in both codes relative to surveying the plumbing or gas system prior to you doing any work. Once it comes out of that regulator, everything on the downstream side is going to be one half PSI in this case. Everything upstream of the regulator is, in this case, like most cases that have a service regulator, they're going to be well over a half PSI. I've seen them all the way up to 70 PSI. Most of the time, somewhere around between 40 and 50. So you go, good picture, what is it? It is a service regulator. Next.